right, hey guys, I'm here with Presley and Zion from Side Effects, and I have a few questions. All right, first, who came up with the name Side Effects? Well, the original name for the band was The Side Effect, and it became Side Effects. Who already knew each other, and how did you meet everyone else? Well, Crazy Mike was a friend of mine, and we were making music together. But I answered an ad by, by Zion. We met, and we wrote a song or two, and we were like, let's put a band together. It was basically tracks at that point. Right. And that's what I wanted to do because I didn't want to have the hustle of a band and just going through keeping a band together and everything. But I believed. He did believe. And I was like, let's do the tracks, and let's just do it that way with vocals and tracks and we'll do it we won't need anybody else won't need to depend on anybody else and he said let's give it a try and i said all right and here we are <laughs> and, and here we are yeah. and what about push and dj and johnny it was me z and mike and then we put ads out for musicians and the original band it was uh push and dre and rough, rough. And we rocked it for like a year and a half. Then Dre, he left. Ruff wanted to join a cover band and he left. Then we were stuck with, you know, in the midst of mixing a CD and all that stuff, finding a new guitar player and a new bass player. And we found uh, DJ and Johnny. And at this point, it works out really, really well. Best yeah. thing that ever happened. Exactly. Talking about your album, is there an overall message you want to send to your listeners with It Is What It Is? I think overall it's just a general positive message. Peace and love. My mom always says that we we have too much profanity, but I explained to her that sometimes you got to have profanity to like get your point across, and that's part of what it's about, you know. All right, what are y'all's favorite songs and why? Runaway is my favorite, and then my second favorite is uh, it is what it is. I like Sweet Dreams, which is a song I did not Woo-hoo! write, and uh, you know that and it is what it is because of the whole therapy aspect of it. Who are your biggest influences? For me, like the main dude for me is Prince. That was the first show I went to when I was a kid, and for me, Prince is the dude who like. Got me into playing bass, keys, guitar, doing production. So for me, like, that's to do. Well, for me, I, I've i been influenced by so many things. Uh, first thing I want to be was Gene Simmons. Stick out my tongue and play a bass. Hey, that's a whole different show, dude. Exactly. <laughs> and then from there, I got into my little grunge phase. And then from there, I expanded into hip hop and every funk everything like that so pretty much nice. anything good all right boxes or briefs marky marks box of briefs that's what's up me neither nor <laughs> you'll commando exactly want to see next question <laughs> <laughs> all right when do we expect to hear some new material we're working on that right now we got the new guys up to speed it's coming so be patient <laughs> All right, what do you think you need to improve on as a band as a whole? Well, P's never on time like I am. <laughs> Z's white and from Wisconsin. He's always on CP time. <laughs> he don't eat watermelon. He don't smoke Newports, but he's what are you always about? late. Like, what's up with that? I love watermelon and I hate Newport. We all ha- we all have our um, things that we need to work on, and that's just part of you know being in a band. It's like we're all brothers, but I mean, nothing's ever perfect. It just is what it is. Sometimes you don't want to practice. Sometimes you don't feel like doing what the group wants to do. It's just, but that's part of it. You got to do it because this is what we all want. We all want to like make music and make lots of money. It's just part of it, you know. It's not easy. All right, and who or what are your inspirations for your music? For myself, it's it, it's just dreams and. Just trying to connect with the person that you really want to be. And I think it's about inspiring. Like uh, when you write something, maybe not even intentionally, you're trying to inspire the audience, make them feel good, and in return that makes you feel good. Because, you know, you're not saying, I want to write this song to make them feel good, but all in all, that's what you're trying to do. Send something out positive so it comes back to you. All right, for some random questions. 
What are y'all's favorite words? At the end of the day, it is what tit is. <laughs> and least favorite. I can't because I feel like any of us can do whatever we want to do. And I think like saying that you can't do anything, it's that's the biggest cop out you can ever use. Anything's possible. Dreams are possible. Anything you want to do is possible. We've seen people in our lives do it from presidents to real estate moguls, whatever. They don't ever say that they can't do anything. They just do it. Think outside the box. Exactly. That's my word. Exactly. Oh. Who's the person that pisses you off the most? Z. I don't know. I, if I have to speak for P, I don't think we let anybody piss us off that much. It's like, that dude's a whack or he needs some help. But on oh no, if anything, we'll be like, okay, that dude's a whack. Let's write a song. But we don't really let it ruin our day. Am I right with that, P? Yeah. I, I mean, I get pissed off primarily from artists who make, like, music. substandard music. Yeah. yeah. Especially, yeah, that, honestly, that does Especially when out. they're making lots of money and we're not. Like, exactly. <laughs> and it's so bad and people don't because it's all hype. There it is. <laughs> um, what are your pet peeves? Girls with ugly feet. Uh, <laughs> No. For me, it's haters, you know, haters. just people hating for no reason besides, you know, personal issues. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty much a neat freak. Other than that, like, I don't know. that's pretty much it. We're, we're we're simple guys, dude. We like beer and girls and right. music. My pet and peeve is angels that don't buy me beer. <laughs> Whatever. All right, who is y'all's fantasy girl? Our what? Fantasy girl. Alyssa Milano. Can she be in the room right now? <laughs> Me, it's a love child of Josh Stone and Alicia Keys. <laughs> what is your dream job outside of music? There ain't no other one. Uh, it would oh. be associated with, maybe not performing, but something associated with. A uh, porn star. Damn, you took my... <laughs> <laughs> production some. Well, she got Grace. 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 <laughs> Who's your dream headliner? Ooh. Wait, wait. Besides Prince? You mean opening up? Yeah. Who would... Who's y'all's dream that you would... Mm, maybe you. Jellyfish. You too, maybe. Jellyfish. Who's Jellyfish? Egg. <laughs> I could go on all day long. Jellyfish. You two, uh, Elvis and Tupac all together on one stage. <laughs> all right. Um, what are y'all's biggest regrets? That I got drunk in P's room last night. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest regret. I really try not to have any besides doing some of the things I've done in other bands, but that's what got me to where I'm at right now. So it was all learning experience. My biggest regret is I really enjoyed my life, but knowing what I know now, if I knew it back then, I would have really indulged in life so much more. Oh, I would have ate everything. <laughs> <laughs> I really would have. I would have ate it all. <laughs> and that's what's up. You know what it is? <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> all right, what are your ultimate goals professionally and personally? I'll go first. For everybody on earth to at least hear side effects. And if they're feeling it, cool. If not, cool, but that's what it's about. I really think we have something for everybody and having that opportunity for everybody to feel it and feel what we're trying to project and have that. <laughs> My ultimate goal is if we can, uh, like the ultimate, I mean, it's going to take lots of years, but Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, ultimate goal, but Grammy. as far as like, yeah. Grammy. It's about the Grammy and saying, Mama, Mama, I made it. That's what it's about. Doing what we love. Doing what we love. Okay, so when you could hang out with any band out there, why are you hanging out with Side Effect? Are you for real? I'm for real. Because <laughs> they're amazing live, much better than on the CD, which is rare. Okay, you're not done yet. You gotta like do the wrap up. Okay. All right, guys, it's the angel on the cover saying thanks for listening to Sad Effects. We hope to see you guys at the next show. Peace.
That's right. Like my man say, good evening.